I, I think if I could get you to do one thing, I would say when you get to the point that you really feel highly motivated to just towards keeping your virtue, then you'll, ex you'll discover quite quickly just how extraordinary a life was meant to be and could be. And it's just, and it's it's just we get so messy. It's not that we're doing lots of wrong things, but our mind is so messy. We don't keep it simple, and and we end up making the life that we're living so inordinately complicated and completely unnecessarily. And it's such a shame to end up feeling <laughs> in a real muddle when actually you ought to be having the time of your lives. incredibly happy you know just to be here just to appreciate to appreciate being here to feel that you're alive to be in touch with your heart that's it that's it It takes mindfulness to come to a human life. And then above that, it takes mindfulness and virtue to come to a fortunate human life. part of this happens briefly. The invitation is not to show how inventive and imaginative you are, but how much you can notice what you're already part of. And appreciate it and share it. And care about those that are around. Look out for their welfare while you're looking out for your own. That's it. And then you'll get to the end of it having had a awesome time, knowing that that was something you'd recommend to others.
like, what would it be like to be down there? Being part of it. And you came here with this sense of wonder, and somehow the wonder of it wasn't enough, or you stopped wondering at it and started wondering about yourself. And in your wondering about yourself, you forgot what you came here for, what you came to be a part of. <laughs>